Hello everybody, welcome into this new video. Let's take a look how we can implement, how we can create images uh, to implement this into our Instagram or into whatever social media you wanted to. So in order to get started here, I'm going to be showing you two things that I'm using in order to create my Instagram post. So um, as you can see here, I'm going to be choosing this option. I'm going to choose to customize this template. I'm not going to be focusing a lot here into Canva because the tutorial is specifically speaking about the mid journey, how we can implement that into our Instagram accounts. So uh, as you can see, what I wanted to do is to create my custom image here. Uh, let's say that I am like a singer songwriter and I just created a new song here and I wanted to uh, create my own image. So whether you wanted to look for the elements inside um, Canva or Google, but you're going to be dealing with copywriting and all that. So I think like the best option for us is to generate uh, some ideas by the artificial intelligence and we don't have to worry about that. So with that being said, I love to use Medjoni. Now Medjoni is an amazing place to start working for artificial intelligence images. So I'm going to hit into upload. I'm going to choose upload files and take a look into this image that I've just generated a couple of weeks uh, ago. This is an image that was generated for and by Majority. So I'm going to upscale this, take a look into the design, take a look into what, what are inside the image. I basically asked the computer, imagine a, an astronaut riding a whale uh, sailing through the galaxy and this is what the computer of course created for me now they don't create like your idea in just one second 10 seconds of course it's going to be taking you like uh, more than four uh, attempts but um if you understand if you the more you understand the computer the more uh, you ask the computer the more it's going to be getting uh, your idea so this is why what you want to do is to go actually into myth journey and here you want to go into the join to beta mode. Now, before joining here into the Met journey, you want to have a Discord account. Otherwise, you should just not be able to do that. So uh, once you hit into the Discord, you want to leave your Discord already opened. You want to go into Met journey once again, hit into the join to beta mode, authorize that inside Discord. And just like that, we're now going to be inside Met journey. So if you don't know how to use this code, you don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to be using a few toes, something really simple to do this a little bit more faster. And we don't have to deal with all of this stuff that I can see here. So first of all, what you want to do is to look here where it says newcomers rooms. You want to look for any room that says newbies, wherever you want to. I'm going to be choosing the first one, for example, and I want to go and look for the mid journey bot. If I don't see that into the chat here, what I can do is to go into the show member list. And here I want to look for the mid journey bot. So I want to choose the mid journey bot. And here I want to add this to server. And here what I want to do is to add to the server that I do have available into my account. I actually created this one a few seconds ago and hit into continue. If you don't know how to create a server, just only hit into the plus button, create a template and hit into the name that you wanted to um, name that. So if I go into my server, it's going to be appearing something like this. Welcome Met Joni bot, say hi, the Met Joni now is inside our server. So what you want to do is to input a forward slash and tap info so you can view information about your profile. If you just leave the forward slash like this, it's going to be showing you all the comments that you can create as you can use with Met Joni bot. But I just want to focus into the one that says imagine. So if I use imagine, I can ask the computer to do whatever I want to do based on just a text description. For example, I asked the computer to create me a cat riding a unicorn. So these are a few examples that was created for the, by the computer. Uh, I, I think that I kind of like the first option. So what I did is to upscale this. Once I, once we have four variations of this, by default, you only have four variations. Once we do have this successfully, what you can do is to choose the option that says U or B. B stands for variations based on a specific photo. 
all the U that says upscaled, for example, upscale the uh, image number one, and the computer is going to be upscaling this one. And as you can see, here's my image already upscaled. Now you might see that there's a little difference between the cat here and the upper side and downside because the upscale has, of course, much more resolution and more ideas implement this. So then what I ask the computer once I do have this upscale version is to ask for make variations. And in here, the computer generate me this four variations. I think that I was actually into this one. So instead of making the upscale and later make a variation, I just jumped right away and say the computer make a variation of this image. So I clicked into B4, variation of image number four. And the result of that is that we have this four examples. So then what I did is to upscale, I wanted to look in a more much better resolution the image that I liked the best. In my case, I do like the, this one better. So I choose upscale number three, one, two, three, four. This is the number three. So the result of that is this image. And as you can see, we do have now our image already upscaled. I can see that the details are really, really amazing, are really accurate. I think that for my taste of uh, let's say like ideas, I kind of liked, I would love to see like another kind of a leg for another kind of uh, foot here for the cat. And I believe that the tail of the unicorn, it's a little weird. So just in case you have any, um, any issues like this, I can strongly recommend you to try to make some more variations or what you can do if you don't want to spend your trial mode um, before tapped into forward info and here's going to be showing you all the information about your account in my case i am only using a trial subscription and here is my time remaining i only have less than 20 minutes so what i did here what i love to do here is to save my image and import that into another uh, artificial intelligence generator of images so i don't have to spend here anything in my case, I use Dali number two. Dali number two is another place where we can try to do something like this based on just one text. But this is something that this application does not have. I mean, they have the date, some others don't. So what I did here is just to import the image that I just generated. I hit into edit my image. And what I did here is to select the past that I don't like. Let's say I don't want to see this tail and I don't want to see this leg of this cat like that. So I, I'm going to delete this part and I'm going to ask the computer to do exactly the same. A cat, let's say a royal cat riding a unicorn. So if I hit into generate the computer, what's going to be doing here is to um, filling all the parts that I don't like into more variations to see if they can like if you find the idea and you can just make more and more variations this is not perfect this is just like an idea uh, this does not have to be that accurate but as you can see I do have more ideas here uh, this is the original part I do have this tail I do have this leg here so they actually look really great. I think I'm going to stick around with the third option. And um, there we have it, guys. That's the way of how we can just get started here using the journey. And now we can have here our image. I can go into my template that I was using to create and to implement my own post into Instagram. And there we go. Something really, really easy and something actually really amazing just by we don't have to actually spend anything so with that being said guys thank you for watching the video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel guys and i will see you on the next one i'll see you soon